What's going on, guys? This is your boy, Project Iceman. I'm bringing another episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation. Um, in the last episode, we got a lot of information. Um, turns out that Aaron is actually related to Melia, who's somehow also related to Alice and Alan. But I had thoughts about that for the longest. So, it's, it's just a whole situation now. Um, I have no idea how they could be related. And if Melia and Aaron are siblings, then it's all this time I thought that uh, Melia and Maria were were the same person, and they could still could be. But now that brings the question: What if they are siblings? What happened to the other three three kids during that time when we saw Maria? Quite an interesting situation we have right now. But let's go talk to Delphi. Or Delpha. Chen, are you ready to go? Oh, um. Yeah, actually. We're gonna need uh, some supplies. guys did. items. Alright, what's here? Okay. I'm guessing these are X items? Oh no. <laughs> that would be too easy, huh? But, uh, they have, there's a couple of permanent items along with other ones. One of these days I'm going to use a sticky barb. One of these days I'm going to use a sticky barb with my, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> I'm going to use a sticky barb, uh, with, uh... With, what's his name? Malamar. Or Doctor. I'm going to use a sticky barb with, use, uh, with Doctor and <laughs> it's going to be a good time. This way. Huh. When d Why is this on the boards now? Th those weren't on the boards before. Oh, it's open. It's actually open right now. Uh, we'll... We'll do this later. I thought it was going to be open after what we need to do. Uh, this way. Uh, sorry, I got a text message. Let me check just real quick. Apologize for this. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Alright. Nothing important. Some person told you that an... Oh! Let's buy 20 of these.
Yeah, that's it. You know, I wonder... Let me check something. I'm gonna step out for a little bit. Go to... Go to, uh, what do you call it? Let's see. Page down. Yeah, he's scaring. Oh, card key shard. I forgot about that. Ah, uh, the gather cube. There we go. Oh, three more. Cool. Wrong way. Now we're ready. Hello, Dr. Isha. I believe you have a visitor. A visitor? I'm very busy. Is this a necessary meeting? Just shoot him away from now. I'll talk to them about as my schedule clears. They say they wish to inquire about your success rate. I see. In that case, send him in. Yes, sir. You must be the famous Isha. I've heard a lot about you. I am he. What brings you here to my office? Wait, aren't you that child who was caught in that explosion? You were here in my care, but then she... I was just curious about your incredible success rate. 
It's quite impressive for anyone that, to have higher than a 50% success rate when it comes to the medical field. I'm just enamored by it. It's so interesting. Almost unbelievable, don't you think? As unbelievable as it may be, it is the truth. It has been documented and verified by my official inquiries. Oh, I'm sure. It's just that there's something that's been bothering me. Haven't you taken the job of restoring life back to the victims of that own crisis? Yes. What about it? If you're so good at what you do, then restoring them should be no problem, right? It's proven to be quite the task, but I am confident that I will make a breakthrough. I have a friend that was turned to stone, you know. Her name was Venom, or Veronica, if you're used to her legal name. Ah, yes, Veronica. I sure do miss her. When will I get to visit her again? After this? Unfortunately, Veronica will be unavailable to visit for quite some time. Huh? What do you mean? That's classified information, but... Hmm? What about Lavender? What did you do to her? Wh what? Eyes on me, Doc. It's rude to not have eye contact. Wh what about Lavender? I don't know. You tell me. I'm the one asking. It's just that I haven't heard much from her ever since she was admitted here. And visiting hours have been cancelled for quite some time. I wonder. Is there anyone even to visit at this point? What are you implying? About the success rate, Doc. I have reason to believe. Excuse me. One sec. Uh-huh. Yes? Really? Good work. I'll speak to you in a bit. Right. So about what we were just discussing, Doc? What is the meaning of this? Don't move, or things won't be pretty. No contacting the authorities, either. What is this madness? Just who is this now? Don't remember me, Isha? That's a little heartbreaking. You should've locked me back up. That amigo was a mistake. You, you're that Gregson? You evolved. You look... different from a normal dump fox. Thanks to the technology of Lakery Corporation, yes, I do. But we're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about Lavender. Where is she? <laughs> I don't have to tell you all the thing. I just have to wait for the authorities to eventually show up and escort you all out of here. As long as I don't see a thing, I'm fine. Yeah, no, sorry, but we are, but, but we thought of it at angle already. Remember that phone call, Isha? The one I just got? That was a call from my friends. They've notified me that they made it to that underground base of yours. What? That's impossible. I would have been notified. You can't be notified if there's no one to notify you. Well, if your precious subordinates are all sleeping for a bit. So as my friends take pictures and build evidence of its existence, we'll be taking you hostage here. As you can see, it doesn't matter if the authorities come here or not, because in each outcome, we'll have proof of your corruption. So let us ask this again. Where is Lavender? <laughs> Clever girls, but there's one thing you didn't account for. One path no one but myself could foresee. And what path would that be? This one. Oh! Slick! Select. Fantastic. Well played. Well played indeed. <laughs> Huey, Shen, get in here. Crap, what happened? Isha escaped through the secret entrance. Huey and Delphi are going after him. I'm still a little weak from the whole explosion ordeal, so I ran out of breath easily. I'm going to be useful and see what dirt I can dig up from this computer. You should go and help the others. Hospital of Ruin. Wow. A little on the nose, aren't we? Where is Lavender? Tell me right now. Oh, Huey. You and I both know I wouldn't just hand her over like that. I know. That's why I'm going to make you hand over her. <laughs> no. That won't happen. If you're worried about me harming her, you shouldn't be. <laughs> She's perfectly fine. In fact, I'll prove it to you. Bring out the vessel. Vessel? Let go of me! I said let go! Huey! Shen! And is that... No, is that you, Brakeson? It is me. I've come back to save you. Save her? I already said that won't happen. But you... Why are you doing this? I may be able to answer that. <coughs> it's because this guy is trying to make up for the faults of his father. My... Father? I did some digging on your computer. You make things so accessible, you know? Dr. Isaiah Halvard, famous brain surgeon in aid in pre-calamity. He was known for his incredible 99% success rate. But he was also known for doing illegal experiments on people, most notably their son. Now doesn't that sound familiar? 
And the only thing I don't get is why Lavender. Why are you dragging her through this mess? <laughs> I really must thank you, Aaron. That's your name, right? Because of you, I no longer have to act the way I did. I can let it all out. Everyone, please be careful. Do you want to know how I felt living in constant stress and disburden? Yes, you're right, Aaron. I am the son of Isaiah Halvard. The esteemed brain surgeon with a 99% rate. The same rate I have right now. But unfortunately, he died a very long time ago. Well, in a way he did. So let me guess, you're just insane because of that constant pressure of living up to your father's expectations? <laughs> and you're performing illegal experiments on Lavender because that's what your father did to you. I'm right, aren't I? This is your truth, isn't it, Isha? You're a pathetic man who was abused that is using that as an excuse to bring harm to the innocent. I'm sorry for what your father did to you, but this is unforgivable. No. Aaron, you have it all wrong. Huh? The man you're talking to right now is Isaiah Halvard. I thought so. The way he was speaking, yes, that did seem to uh, be the be the case. Wh what? <laughs> well, yes. It's nice to meet you all. My name is Isaiah Halvard. Best brain surgeon pre calamity and post. How is that possible? Isaiah was found dead in his home. Ah, I suppose calling myself completely Isaiah Halvard is incorrect. You see, make no mistake, I am Isha, son of Isaiah, but I am also Isaiah. Let me put it this way half of my brain is Isha, and half of my brain is Isaiah. Not physically, but mentally, we are one and the same. You're not making any sense. Let me start from the beginning. It began when I was born of surgical progeny. At first, I truly wanted to help people, and I did. I brought hope to people who had none in the first place. But as life went on, diseases became harder to treat. People's expectations were high. The expectation I held myself was too, too, was too high. I became obsessed with success. Originally, that was because I didn't want anyone to die. I did not want to bring up kind of despair to our family. But eventually, it became all about my that number my 99% success rate. I did whatever I could to maintain it. Illegal practices, deals with the black market. I played God. And as a result, God decided to play me. At the age of 45, I was diagnosed with an illness that not even I could cure. The doctor with a 99% success rate, diagnosed with an incur incurable disease. I was horrified, but I was so it was so ironic. I couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> This guy is a psychopath. I tried, and tried, and tried again, but nothing I did would bring me closer to a cure. I would soon die a painful death resulting in my precious success rate to fall. The humiliation of a doctor falling failing himself was too much to handle. I needed more years to perfect an antidote, so I devised a little plan. Immortality was skill outside the realm of possibilities, but even death isn't without loopholes. Upon my use of research, I found a way to transfer my memories into a family member. It took many tests and many experiments, but eventually, I was successful. It's a shame my colleague had to rat me out. That's when you took your son and fled, right? When you were caught? That's right. Guess where I was taken? Shen knows. How does Shen know? They went into... They, they went to the place my father took me. In Zone Zero. Shen and two others visited the basement of my father's old home. I still have that place under surveillance, so imagine my shock and horror when I saw you three running through my things. Anyway, I was placed within one of the capsules, and my father and the other. Ah, so that's what the capsules were for! The process was only supposed to take a few hours, but due to the calamity, the procedure malfunctioned. My stasis pods were designed to keep the person within them completely preserved, as long as the internal battery runs. I was kept in a coma-like state for the next ten years. When I woke up, I had the memories of myself and of my father, Isaiah. Your father took your life from you? Aren't you angry? Angry? Of course I was angry. I was scared too. But I had all of my father's skills. I could easily make a name for myself once again, and I did. This time I was going to uphold my own success rate. But what does this have to do with Lavender? I'm getting there, you fool. Everything was going well until I turned 45. 
why is it always 45? Call it fate, or call it a result of genius. My father's, my father's procedure worked a little too well. The brain is very powerful, you know. It's capable of all sorts of things. The memories of my father, stored in my, my own brain, remembered my father's illness, and reconstructed it once again. What? You, that would mean that you're terminally ill again. Y yes. Death followed me to another body. But this time, I had no relatives. All I had was myself. I decided that I needed yet more time to work on a cure for this infernal disease. The fate I thought I had escaped was here once more. So I looked for another vessel. But it cannot be with just anyone. The two people must share a connection, or else a procedure would end up in a death of both. Shen and I first had a connection when we crossed paths on a bridge. Do you remember that interaction, Shen? I sure did. I obsessed over you. I couldn't stop thinking about you. Hey, 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 calm down there, sir, calm down. I wanted you to be my next vessel, but I had no idea how to find you again. But I was blessed with Lavender and Veronica's situation. They brought you to me. I was overjoyed, but then I realized that Lavender and I had the connection too, an even stronger one. We're not getting to let that happen. Your father may have stolen your life, but we won't let you take Lavender's. That's right. Best to just give up now. Give up? I don't wanna. I wanna. I want to keep living. Why are you giving me my life? Wait. Lavender won't die. She won't be hurt. We'll just become one. We'll live happily ever after, the three of us. You sicken me. Nurse, please take Lavender to her stasis pod. Hey, stop! Huey! Lavender! As for the rest of you, I've grown strong, just in case something like this happened. Please do not get angry with me. I'm simply doing my job as a doctor. I am the white blood cell and you are the disease. I will purge you. Let us begin. My goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. This thing is faster than me? Damn. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to win this, guys. Damn. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, Lord. No, nah, I I can't. I'm going to need... Hmm. What am I going to need? I would say Lancelot, but... He's not going to last against that thing. That thing knows Flash Cannon. Shoot. My goodness, that's gonna that thing's a problem. Mike need you. If only I could buy X items, I would be in a better situation. How long was this episode been going for? 25 minutes? 
You know what? Uh, I'm going to try and get back as fast as possible. I should have saved before I got in a... Okay, uh, save right here. I want to know what kind of, uh, what kind of item, I mean, what kind of, uh, what moveset that, uh, Hydreigon has. There we go. This is a special attack and it's gains the focus. Just in case you have flamethrower. Oh, flash cannon. Okay. Oof. Oh, you do have a fire attack move. Damn it. Did I go to Switcheroo? It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. Wow. This thing is so busted. Wow. Like... If I had something that could boost my special defense, I would be in a better shape. But, for some reason, this game doesn't like giving out X items. At all. At all. Look, I have Poke Dolls, Poke Toys, a Red Flute, a Guard Spec, and a, do and a Dire Head. I have no idea where to buy X items. Even the berries I get are... are, like... Ugh. And you think it would, you think they would set up a place where I could use a, a PC nearby?
My goodness. My goodness, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> That's, that is something else, like, this guy is something else. Like, they don't, they don't give me much of anything to deal with this thing. <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> this is so stupid. This, this battle is something else.
Nice crit. Wait, where is it? Uh, the Revival Herbs. I bought Revival Herbs. Where is it? I know I bought those things. Don't tell me when I reset, I reset it before I bought them. Did I really- oh my goodness. Did I really do that? Oh, I think I did. Alright. The trio. My goodness. Oh, right. You burned me. Oh my goodness. time you did that okay switch in the front hey, let's uh, backtrack a little bit get those items that I bought and for some reason disappeared on me.
There we go. I think I'll be in a better situation than this time. There we go. And just in case. Oh, nice. Get out of here. I did not expect you to die in one. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I did not expect you to die in one. Store? No, I don't. I uh, that's a
decided to take matters into a different approach. Again? You deserve this. Out of here, Swampert. Let's go to Ducklet. Feather Dance. So it's an ultra potion. Had a feeling you had surf. Go to Christmas. Just glad it's not, uh, it's not Crest Dust Noir. Ooh. Let's go for damage. Nice. Oh, okay. Damn it. Why do you have forest stores and I don't? You have Thunder Punch? Gotta use Kata to revive. Roxy. While we're at it, let's revive Doctor. And while we're at it, let's revive. <laughs> let's revive Tesla. I knew that would kill. As soon as, soon as I saw the zap, I, I knew that was going to happen. Get out of here. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. All you guys in your window berries. I knew you had Ice Punch. Will that kill? Uh, yep. Uh, and it was a crit. For good measure.
Ah, so close. My research, my hard work. I won't let it end with this. I won't disappoint my father. Hmm, I'm surprised you went for Shadow Punch. Oh, okay. I guess it just kills outright. Gotcha. If I fail, there's no one. In, there's no use in living. There's just no use. Now that's just disappointing. I think, I think I could cry. I want to cry. Do I have permission to cry? Behave, you insolent child. This is no time for to a meltdown. Why are we having a fight, father? Let's just be happy together. Wait, you're not actually here. Sorry. Oops. This is disturbing. This must be a side effect of Isaiah's procedure. His brain is having trouble recognizing which memories actually belong to Ayusha or Isaiah. As a result, we get this. I guess I am a bit juvenile. After all, I never got to live out a childhood. Even after death, you disappoint me. I think that's something my father would say. It's sad, but it's a, a little amusing. This is the guy who was in charge of everyone in the hospital? Lavender, Venom, and the others had to bear witness to this freak. Oh no, I can never act like this in public. Your friends, everyone else, they were all in good hands. I took care of all of them, like they were my children. But then that bitch from Teen Zen had to take her and everything fell apart. Are you talking about Nastasia? Who did she take? Don't say that name! She'll come back if you say her name three times in the mirror. She came here, after the explosion, and demanded she have four of my patients. Cassandra knows my secret. I had no choice but to oblige. Three of the four patients were Alice, Alan, and myself. Who was the fourth? The fourth was... The, what? <laughs> Did we just let him walk away from us? <laughs> Get back here, you bastard. Huey, wait! This is for torturing Lavender. Mega multi-punch. How do you like that? I'm bored. Don't interfere, insolent pest. Huey! Huey, grab my hand! I... I can't! Delpha, use Psychic to lift Huey back to safety. Understood. I got this. <laughs> you almost killed me. Do it, now! Cross poison! My generator. I needed that, you imbeciles! We know. What do you mean, we? He's talking about me, that fourth patient. So Viper, return. Venom. Focus, Aaron. Let's take care of the psychopath first. Got it. They're cornered, Isha. No way to escape. No way to perform your precious procedure. Your life ends as Isha Harvard. My life ends? I haven't... I couldn't... But if I don't... I'll die. I'll die. I'll die. Good. Huey, it's your time. R right. Hey, Lavender. It's time to go home. That dumb doctor will never lay another finger on you. Huey. Everyone. Thank you.
On behalf of Grand Dream City, we are grateful for your efforts. Though next time, we would prefer if you called the authorities before doing something this hasty. You are all unharmed, but imagine what might have happened if things went wrong. We're perfectly capable of ourselves, but thanks anyway. Alright boys, time to take him downtown. Let's take him downtown. This may be the end for me, but it's all the end for all of you as well. Are you done having a mental breakdown? Just go in dignity. <laughs> I left a gift for each and every person in this infernal city. Perhaps it won't happen today or tomorrow or the next day. But one day my gift will rise, and then it will be me who will be laughing. <laughs> we will not take that threat lightly. We will record it and investigate its meaning. Until then, please stay safe, citizens. I wonder if it has something to do with the Giratina. That was ominous. I wonder what he meant by that. I'm sure it'll come to light eventually. But now, it's, be it's probably better ask not to think about it. Besides, he said that in front of Officer Jenny like an idiot. Don't take care of it. You're right. Let the police handle something for us. Venom, how did you know where we are? Oh yeah, about that. Nastasia had Venom aboard and didn't tell anyone about it. She had a feeling that the spring would be powerful enough to store Venom, and it turns out she was right. Why not mention it to anyone? We had the right to know. She said she was irrelevant to the mission, and thus didn't want to distract anyone. Oh, excuse me. Personally, I believe she didn't want to raise anyone's hope in the case of failure. I think it's also why she shooed everyone so suddenly at the end of our mission. I was more so asking how you two know, knew, knew where we were. <laughs> oh. Adam told us. He said he got sidetracked with his bro and everyone's left without him. Ren and I stopped by the apartment, but no one was there, so we just assumed. I see. Clever. If the spring has the capability of bringing stone victims back to life, then this is a breakthrough. Yeah, I actually brought some of the spring's water back with me. Once this thing's settled down, I'll see what I can do. I, um... I don't really know how to say this. It's weird to hear you being hesitant. Don't worry, we won't bite. I'm just really happy to see everyone again. Aww, is Venom getting sappy now? Yeah, yeah, laugh it up, Ren. First thing I see when I wake up is your ugly mug. I really must be cursed. With every curse comes a blessing, you know? Man, Brixen, is that really you? You evolved into a Delphox. Not any Delphox I've ever seen before, but it's still cool. Oh, that's very nice of you, Venom. Thank you. It's a recent change that will take some time getting used to, but I'll be more helpful from now on. No doubt about it. I can't forget about Shen, either. How have you been doing? Yeah, I've been great. I'm glad to hear that. You definitely seem stronger. I'll need to catch up later. I'm so behind everyone else now. Ren, are you sure this is Venom? This isn't, reg this isn't regular behavior for her. Dunno, maybe the stage got the wrong one. But hey, I'm just happy to see everyone again, like I said. Nothing weird about that. Just wait till Melita finds you. That'll be a real sight to see. I'm scared to see her. It's been so long. Everything will work out, don't worry. I know, I'm just anxious. I can't get over it. Good news, everyone! Lavender's okay! They just wanted to do a general checkup to make sure she's completely healthy. So as soon as they're done with that, they'll release her. Huh? But, 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 what? But I... But... I don't understand. How is... But... Hugs. <laughs> All the hugs. I missed you. Okay, three days later. Wait, was this box here before? Oh, these are my clothes. Wait, are, are these the same? Oh, it's the same, okay. Alright, so how long has this episode been going? Wow! Okay, yikes. Okay, uh, did not mean to make this episode so long, but that battle with Isha took, was a lot more tedious than it really needed to be. But honestly, the, the biggest problem Isha had was that Hydreigon. Everything else was either tedious or just managed to get a crit or just used the field um, to their advantage. Excuse me. 
Well, that's in the episode right here. I will see you guys in the next one. Later.